Grüezi YouTubers, here is the guy with the Swiss accent again. Today I will show you how you can repair a defective heating element of your soldering station. I had to repair my Aoyue or similar, but I think most of what I show here will apply also to other soldering stations. If your soldering station stopped to work, it is possible that the heating element is defective. Heating elements of modern soldering stations have two parts, a heating element and a thermocouple. If you see the th temperature in this display but the iron stays cold, then the heating element could be defective. If your station does not show the temperature, in my case it shows pen, then the thermocouple could be defective or the connection to it is no more working. The pins of my Aoyue 968A stations are shown in this diagram. You can check the connections with a multimeter. Between the pins 1 and 2 you should find the thermocouple and between 4 and 5 the heating element. Both resistances should be small. If not so, it's worthwhile to go to the next step. Before you start, at least you need a second soldering iron to do the soldering during repair. If the heating element is defective, of course, you need a replacement. You find them on the internet. Now you can start with the disassembly of the soldering iron as shown. At the end, you see the four soldering points connecting the heating element with the cable. The two points in the front are connected with the heating element and the two back points are connected with the thermocouple. You find a good video explaining how heating elements are built below in the comment. It is very important to know that the wires of the heating element and the wires of the thermocouple cannot be soldered, or at least I did not find out how. So it is important that you twist the cables of the heating element with the wires of the cable to the soldering station before you solder. This makes sure that they are connected even if the materials do not solder together properly. I did not do this the first time and afterwards I had problems with loose contacts and I had to redo the whole thing again. By the way, this is also the reason for this video. If everything is connected and soldered, check the contacts again with the multimeter. If everything is okay, you can start to assemble the iron and use your repair station as before. I hope this video helps you repairing your station. More such tips will follow on this channel. Bye!